Hello, everyone. You are listening to uclaradio.com. I am DJ Quesarito, and I am joined today by Joel Adams. Hello. He just performed for everyone live on air. You did Slipping Off the Edge, which was your most recent single. Yeah. And then you did Coffee as well. Mm -hmm. And recently you released Kingdom, another yes. single. Yes, yeah, Kingdom. A lot of them sound like pretty different and have mm -hmm. like a slightly different vibe. Yeah. When you go to like write them, like what, do you like go into the process being like, I'm going to write a sad song or do you just like, does it just happen? Well, it really depends because a lot of the time when I'm writing, I, I'm just trying to come up with something that I enjoy listening to when I was younger and kind of recreating that. So I, li I listened to a lot of music growing up, so I guess... It, it just depends. And then sometimes I'll write and I'm literally writing with someone else in my head, trying to write for someone else because mm -hmm. I, I do write for other people sometimes. And so I, I really, to be honest, that's the reason the songs are so different. I mean, Slipping Off the Edge is like something that I wrote when I was a couple months ago, actually. It's probably the most recent song I've written. And uh, I was just going through a bit of a rough time. Um, and I wrote that kind of just when I came home I actually, I actually went for a lunch with a bunch of fans. I guess I have fans, um, and I went, I went, I went for a lunch with them, and uh, they, we just talked about songs, and they were talking about um, kind of how they like songs that they can relate to that also show them kind of a solution to a problem they're going through at the end. So I wanted to write a song that kind of reflected that. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite one to perform? My favorite song to perform. Mm, I like actually the last song I played, Hell No. That's usually my favorite because it's kind of up tempo and I can usually throw, throw a little like cover in there, kind of. Yeah. It's upbeat. So yeah, that's probably my favorite to perform at the moment. I mean, it always changes. I mean, I usually I play, I'll go on like a tour or something, and then I get f absolutely sick of them. So yeah. like, I, I, it always changes. But uh, right now, that's the one. Nice. Yeah. Are you sick of humming? <laughs> Dude, I do not hum anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually, to be honest, I really don't hum when I sing that song. Like, okay. I've done it a couple times, but it just sounds so bad live. Like, it's so <laughs> hard to translate it live, so I really don't do that. I mean, I'm not sick of humming, but, like, maybe in that song, but, yeah. Nah. Mm -hmm. So you did play some unreleased music. Mm -hmm. The first one was Airplanes. Yeah. And yeah. then what was the second one? The second was one was Hell No. Nice. Yeah, Airplanes I uh, actually wrote, actually... Actually, that's yeah. That's the most recent. I read that about two weeks ago, um, just in my apartment. I was moving out actually, and I just wanted to write a song. I had the, like the lyric airplanes, and I just kind of wanted to write a song based around that. And uh, I like wrote some of the lyrics when my friend was getting his phone fixed, actually around this area. So, <laughs> so yeah. And then Hell No has just kind of been like over the years. I kind of built it up, and uh, yeah. What do you say? Aeroplanes. Okay, so <laughs> I I actually was gonna spell it airplanes. Because okay. usually I say aeroplanes, but because it just looks cooler, aeroplanes. Yeah. I don't know. Like when I sing it, I say aeroplanes. So okay. Aero I guess, yeah. And also there's a song called Aeroplanes already out there. So True. It's Got it. A little it. different. Nice. Yeah. Um, so that begs the question, are you releasing any new music soon? Yeah. So this week, actually, I'm going to be putting out a little Christmas cover um, of a song called Christmas Lights. It's on Thursday. Uh, comes out Thursday night. And uh, it's a Coldplay uh, cover I really like. So uh, I thought it'd be cool to kind of do something like that. And then I got an EP that's going to be coming out next year. I'm kind of holding oh. off for Christmas and everything. Just going to relax because I've been working all this year with producing and everything. So it comes out next year. But yeah. Nice. What's the process been like making the EP? Like what do you do like each like daily? Like what? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, to be honest... This EP that I'm going to put out, it's changed like at least 50 times because I had this song that came out and then it did pretty well and kind of I focused on that song for a long time and then I actually had like a little situation where I had to get out of management and stuff and I, for like two years, I really didn't, I really didn't release anything. So like my sound changed so many times and I kind of am, I was kind of at that point where I'm like, I don't really know what my direction is at the moment so kind of what this ep is is it's it's a bit it's a bunch of songs that are all kind of different like the stuff i've been releasing you got like coffee and slipping off the edge and kingdom and and uh big world they're all kind of different from each other so my whole thing is for this ep i just want to have songs that are all different and if you like 
if you like any of that style of music, you might like the EP. And if you don't, then <laughs> then I don't mind. <laughs> cool. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so you're a, are you a little tired right now? Yeah. I so <laughs> I got I woke up. Yeah. I mean, I told you this, but I woke up at six a.m. this morning because I thought that because I've never done a college radio before. I've actually never been to a college before. This is my first time at an American college. Yeah. So basically, I woke up thinking that seven was my like because you do radio. It's like in the mornings. So I got up at six a.m. and I usually wake up at like one a like one p.m. in the afternoon. And I full on like got up, got ready to come. And then I called my manager, Jeff, and I was like, yo, dude, can you grab me some food? Because I haven't got any food yet. And I'm going to be so hungry for this thing. And he was like, dude, you're an idiot. It's at seven at night. So <laughs> bit of a hiccup. That's but, yeah. Did you so, go back yeah. to bed? No, I just watched Harry Potter. Nice. I've been like on a Harry Potter marathon. <laughs> I get on like a marathon every year with Harry Potter and The Office. It's kind of yeah. like a ritual thing. By the way, do you know that there's, okay, I just got to talk about something right now. There's, you know, the Harry Potter world. Yeah. You know, have you ever been to Universal Harry Potter World? Yeah. So you know how you get those wands? They have wands, right? Like you sure. go to the stores and they sell wands. And apparently, <laughs> I don't know if people are listening who know this, you can you get the wand and it's like you can control things in the park. Like you yeah, full on, like they're like a remote control. Like you can like, I don't know what it is. You like wave them at certain like objects and they move and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. It's really that's cool. That's that? that? No, it's really cool. <laughs> no, that is cool. Yeah. Um, okay, I have a question. Okay. When I first played Please Don't Go for my younger sister, she was like, oh, this is the TikTok song. Yeah. Have you seen that on TikTok? Yeah. So actually a couple months ago, I, I never even knew what TikTok was. To be honest, I'm really, yeah. I'm really terrible at social media. Like I'm, anyone that like knows me will tell you that because I just, I know I don't really use social media that much, but like I heard about TikTok because someone told me that my song was on there and I was like, really? So I went on and I checked. There's like all these like little videos of people. Yeah. Playing. So I just got a TikTok account like a couple <laughs> days ago. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's on TikTok. Hey, like so it. you're on TikTok now. Yeah. I've done three videos, <laughs> all kind of like, just, they suck, but I'm going to get better at it. I, Cause like the ones to your song, it's like snapping. Have you yeah. seen that? Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, people like snap and then they do. So there's actually some really cool ones. Like, uh, this one, like lady did it, like she was like pregnant and then she like wasn't pregnant. <laughs> like she was snapping like through her pregnancy. It was really cool. So also a lot of people were sending in sort of like asking for certain DJs and everyone has kind of like a different DJ name on radio. Okay. So if you were on UCLA radio, what would your DJ name be? So like I'm DJ Quesarito because I like quesaritos. But like what's um, something you like? Like what would you go by? I don't know. I used to get called, my nickname at school was Charcoal. So I'd say DJ Charcoal? Ch DJ Charcoal, yeah. That's pretty cool. That sounds kind of emo. Yeah, DJ Charcoal. So like what would your show be about? Like what would you talk about for an hour? Um, probably just Harry Potter land and, you know, the <laughs> ones that, uh, you know, that and my terrible TikTok videos, probably. Nice. Yeah. So this yeah. is it. This is actually your show, right? Yeah. Now. Literally, this is my show. Welcome, guys. So basically. Um, someone said in the comments, DJ Charcoal is good. Okay. So we're running it. That's it. That's your name that's now. That's it. DJ Charcoal. Just change it forever. That's it. Um, no, no more Joel I'm going to update my Instagram handle to DJ Charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's not taken. Yeah. I asked my other sister, I'll just keep bringing them up, yeah, for some cool. good icebreaker Go questions because she's a camp counselor. My favorite one was, if you were a chair, what type of chair w would you be? I'd want, to be have I'd want to be a chair with wheels. Okay. Because, you know, I wouldn't like to just be in one place all day. Nice. Um, I'd like to be one of those, like, really, I like the chairs that just go up and down, like the up and down chairs. A really yeah. comfortable okay. uh, chair with wheels. Yeah, that's the type of chair I'd be. So the chair you're sitting in right now? Literally, I'd, wow. yeah, I'd be the chair that I'm sitting in right now. <laughs> Does DJ T or Tuck have a, a question? Or do you want me to say it for you? Okay. She's, oh, she's coming over. All right. You're coming over? Here, you want to speak into my microphone? DJ, DJ, what's that? What's this that? is DJ Tuck. DJ Hello. Tuck. Um, how do you make the coffee sipping sound? Like, and also, did you just have to, like, record yourself doing it multiple times? Or is it really you? Or is it somebody else? Can you explain what you're talking about? At the beginning of the coffee Sa song he makes the coffee like sipping sound and it, yeah. it's my favorite thing it's my favorite part <laughs> of the song and it's my favorite one of your songs uh, well basically yeah we just i literally just stood at a microphone with a glass of water and just kept sipping it uh, until so we got a good take coffee. it wasn't coffee i'm sorry Damn, i exposed. actually actually really don't drink coffee i can't <laughs> I've, I've already got like enough energy as it is so yeah 
Uh, DJ Tuck has another question for you. Okay. And it's what egg mood are you in? So like, you know how there's like scrambled eggs and like poached eggs and like any sort of egg, you know what I mean? Like you can make eggs different ways. Yeah. So which type of egg like reflects like how you feel right now? Right now? Yeah. Um, Because I'm tired. <laughs> I'd okay. say probably scrambled because I'm a little all over the place right <laughs> nice. now. But uh, usually I'd say I'm a, I'm a pretty good, like, you know, fried egg, you know. Yeah, I mean, a little, little gooey at the top, you know. So, you know, nice and bubbly. Yeah, that's me. It's getting close to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, one more thing, one more thing. <laughs> I'm going to be this Thursday at 2 p.m. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live. I'm going to be doing Facebook Lives every week, every Thursday, 2 p.m., and uh, yeah. Well, thank you much for coming on the show. No worries. And yeah, with that, this has been Joel Adams live on UCLA Radio. Don't need a pill to make me happy. I gotta think about it.